Alright, hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be talking about the devs, and the devs have been speaking on some uh, various topics such as the sandbox mode, a uh, possible MMR system in multiplayer, and also the most recent hotfix. Um, now before I start the video, I am kind of tired, it's pretty late here, and uh, so if I do sound tired or mumble or stuff of that nature, just know I'm tired. But um, like always, I have a script. It's going to be on the screen right now. It's also going to be in the description. Everything that's said, all the links that are mentioned are going to be down in the description below. Now, uh, I also have a video that I released a couple of days ago, and it is also about dev statements. The link to that video will be down below. And uh, the link to the official forums where most of these statements are made are, is also down below. So without further ado, here we go. So first, we have a player asking the devs, uh, pretty much if quests are mandatory because he enjoyed the first Mountain Blade game and it was completely sandbox. Uh, the devs responded that both the tutorial and main storyline is optional and you can skip and ignore both if you wish. Uh, personally, I like sandbox too, but I just do the first couple of, pr pretty much the first couple parts of the story because you can start your own kingdom faster through the main storyline. It takes Clan Tier 4 to start a kingdom without the main story and Clan Tier 3 with the main story. That being said, the main story at this point isn't really hard and much of a story and it can be completed very quickly. Uh, second, we have the same player stating that, that, that while you can ignore the main quest, and it, it's pretty much, even though you can ignore it, it's still there and it's not a true sandbox, right? So the devs respond that they may consider this in the future, pretty much, you know, removing it for like, let's say a different uh, type of so you can have different type of gameplay, they can remove the main quest completely, right? Like a different game mode, but it's not a priority right now. Uh, personally, in my opinion, the main quest is very minor, but I do understand the player's perspective that it's not a true sandbox. Um, because the true sandbox will not have the quest in the game because it, it, the quest itself has consequences if you fail and rewards if you complete it, which impact, you know, the story and like pretty much how the game's going to go, right? I also understand that this is probably not a priority for the devs and uh, there that there is probably a mod that erases the main story altogether and if not, I don't I don't really believe that it's pretty hard to make but again, I'm not a developer, I'm not a modder so it might be hard to make but I don't think it's the hardest thing to make. But it would be a cool uh, game mode to see. I, think, I, don't, I don't think it would take too much to develop uh, but like I said before, I don't think this is on the devs uh, priority list as of right now. So uh, if there's any mod maker out there I'm pretty sure it's already out there, but if it's not, I think it'd be a cool little mod to make, right? Alrighty, so third, we have a player saying that the recent hotfix hot has ruined clans being able to play with each other or play against each other in multiplayer due to auto-balancing being fixed. Uh, the devs state that auto-balancing not working was a bug and it needed to be fixed. Uh, it was not a feature that he turned off on purpose. Also, that matchmaking still prioritizes a six stack of players to play uh, versus another six stack of players in captain and skirmisher matches. Personally, I do not play multiplayer, so I can't confirm or deny this, uh, but hopefully it was a good change and that the ability to play with the clan was not compromised. Now, fourth, we have a dev making a statement on a thread that is proposing a better uh, matchmaking system. The uh, original thread uh, maker said that uh, he had a terrible experience when he was playing against when he was playing a 6v6 against a six man team that were probably on discord and his whole team was pretty much solos and they had no communication the dev stated that the current matchmaking system prioritizes matching six man teams with other six man teams if this criteria cannot be met then other players will join that queue or that you know that match uh, this also happens for the skirmisher mode as well and uh, the 6v6 uh, mode that we are talking about here is the captain mode. I don't think I've mentioned it, but that's what I pretty much mean by 6v6. Uh, devs also state that a clan system is coming soon to make sure to make sure clans can play against other clans. Uh, again, to me, this this seems reasonable, and this is in a lot of multiplayer team games where matchmaking systems will usually prioritize pairing teams against other teams unless that criteria can't be met. Then other players will join to fill the queue. Uh, also, the clan system sounds fun, and uh, we will see how that goes in the future. We'll see if it's, you know, ranked, if there can be competitive play in that. But uh, we will see all of that in the future when the update comes out. Uh, 
Fifth, we have a player making a statement about a, an MMR system, which I think stands for matchmaking rank system. Is that what it stands for? Or matchmaking rating system? Let me know exactly what that stands for. But um, I think it's around, along those lines, right? Uh, for Bannerlord, pretty much the MMR system for Bannerlord, and that it might not be the best idea because of the lack of players in multiplayer right now. Uh, developer replies that this has been undermined and uh, that for it for this system to work, uh, three points must be satisfied. Matching people with similar skills, matching people fast, and then matching different people so they don't play with the same people all the time. Uh, some math is done and you can see it on the screen right now and you can also pause it to see the numbers. But in conclusion to um, the math being shown and all of that, the MMR system would fluctuate and sometimes you will wait uh, you will wait for longer, but play versus people with your like that are the same rank as you. And uh, sometimes you will join a game faster, but the ranks will be pretty much out of whack and um, you will play with the same people over and over again. Dev say that this is, a, this is pretty much an unavoidable issue until the player base grows. Uh, to, again, this seems reasonable to me and it does make sense uh, calculation wise and you know conclusion and pretty much everything that's stated there. Uh, I do not know the uh, multiplayer numbers, pretty much how many people are playing as of right now. But there have been a lot of multiplayer problems and I have faced them as well. And I feel that um, those bad experiences have caused a lot of players, players to leave. Uh, we might see a lot of those players come back after a significant multiplayer patch. But again, we will see uh, what happens in the future. Sixth, we have a player saying that even with low numbers, uh, pretty much of players that are playing online, right? An MMR system will help to at least balance the skill level of players. So let's say 12 players join a 6v6 as all solo queued. All of them um, pretty much press, you know, search for game by themselves with no team attached, right? And out of these 12, two are high elo or highly ranked in the system. Then the MMR, the MMR system will pretty much balance the teams and separate these two highly ranked players. And um, pretty much the devs say that this is already done, but it's not live yet because other features such as being able to uh, rejoin a match or a fix to the abusable 6v6 teaming matches uh, are not where they need to be. And by 6v6 uh, abusable teaming matches, I pretty much mean like um, the whole thing that we just talked about where somebody joins, their whole team is all full of solo players, right, with no communication. And the other team is uh, a six-man team that, you know, are in Discord and they're fully, um, you know, what do you call it? Pretty much have a lot of communication and a lot better chance, you know, of winning. And uh, I'm guessing uh, that, the, I mean, the, the developers do see that this is abusable. And uh, if they do add an MMR system, they want to get rid of this before pretty much all the solo guys that join in, right? They will end up with very low ELO. Not because of their individual skill, but because, you know, the game mode requires a lot of uh, teamwork, which the six-man team will have an advantage in, and pretty much those guys will race to the top of the ELO charts, and uh, everybody else will be at the bottom, if that kind of makes sense. Um, so, pretty much what it seems like is, uh, from my perspective, is the developers are waiting on additional features to be done before releasing a big multiplayer patch. I think they want the system to work good and effectively bring players in. So they want to take their time and perfect it. Uh, personally, I can't wait for these changes. And, um, you know, I, I want to see what happens in the patches ahead and uh, what changes they can make to multiplayer. Because I do want to try. I do want to have a good experience. But I am going to wait um, for more of these changes to be rolled out. Uh, and that's pretty much all the statements and replies for now. And if anything new comes up, I'll make a video and keep you guys informed. Last thing, I'm going to end this video in the same way I end most of my update and dev talk videos. I do want to thank the developers for staying active and bringing some good changes. I understand that some people are impatient and very negative on the forums, but me and, a, and hopefully a huge group of people do understand that this is an early access game and it takes time and patience, you know, to make the product, you know, good and great and, uh, and all of that. But yeah, I, I want to do. I do want to say something positive because I feel like there's a lot of negativity around this game, which is unwarranted. And uh, yeah, I just want to say, keep it going. I think they're doing a great job. But uh, like always, if you are playing an early access game and you are playing on the beta patch, do not expect the gameplay to be stable. 
So uh, pretty much if you're on Steam and you're on the auto patching system, um, do not expect it to be, uh, what do you call it, stable. It's a beta branch, which you most likely are on, right? And a beta branch is used for playtesting and reporting. Now, if you would like to play in a more stable environment, please play in a stable live patch of the game. There are plenty of them. Right now, I'm actually playing 1.3. Even though the newest patch is 1.4.2, um, it's a beta patch and that is unstable. I'm playing 1.3. It's very stable for me and it's going very good for my playthrough. Now, if you would like to revert to a stable patch, I have a link to a video down below where I explain how to do that. So if you do want to change back, that link will be down below. So uh, hopefully this was informative. Uh, ask me any questions and like always, stay safe.